This marina along the Louisiana coast is usually full of fishermen. Now law enforcement vessels dealing with a massive oil spill in the Gulf have taken their place. We deal with all the sport fishermen down here and that's their relaxation. They come down here and they'll buy bait and they'll go out and they catch their fish and that's how they get away and enjoy life. And then we have all the commercial fishermen here that make their living, which they can't go to work. So it's affecting everyone. Ever see anything like this oil spill or hear about First one I ever dealt with. I hope it's the last. Like many fishermen here, Lester Ansardi is now working for BP helping to lay down oil barriers along the coast. I got to work somewhere. Of course, we haven't got paid yet. I don't know exactly what we're going to get paid or when we're going to get paid, but we, if I sit home, I know I'm not going to get paid. BP representatives assured the fishermen they'll be paid soon and tried to put an end to the rumors that the money they make now could affect any settlements down the road. BP can't pay you to do work and then deduct that from a settlement. That's called unjust enrichment. That's right. You'll be basically working for free. So that's, that's not going to impact your claim, whatever that claim might be. One of the many challenges crews here are dealing with is a shortage of this, absorbent boom used to soak up oil. They've nearly run out of it here in Louisiana and are having more shipped in from California. Call us with that specific problem on that toll-free number. Louisiana Senator David Vitter assured the fishermen they'll get the supplies they need. He also gave an update on the containment dome currently being put in place over the leaking oil rig. Well, I'm praying hard over it. Uh, the good news is that this has been done before and it's been proven to work. The challenging news is that was in 400 feet, not 5,000 feet of water. Big difference in terms of the pressures involved and the engineering involved. So, uh, you know, I think the next three days are going to tell the story. Those that make a living here hope the story has a happy ending. Because we need a miracle to stop the bleeding, because if they don't stop it, you know, this is, this is going to end up turning into the Dead Sea. Haven Daily, the Associated Press, Shell Beach, Louisiana.